Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello. Fancy chair, Thomas. <laughs> yes, in the middle of where not. So. Hey. Hello. Hello. So let's wait another minute so everyone can join. And meanwhile, I set up a new link on the top of the document. So now we have a quick filter to go over ready for refinement issues across the world captain org. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So I will ask all the maintainers to join the scrum board. And we can start with the first ticket to refine from Florian that found a small bug in our APIs for the metric server. Flo, do you uh, want to... Yes, sure. Uh, first of all, may I ask you to also share the link in the chat to the Scrum board? Uh, sure. Perfect, thank you. Uh, yeah, so about the issue uh, when testing the metric server, which now lives in the new metrics operator, I found that uh, in the API that we expose and which is used by Keda, for example, when we try to access a metric that's not available, we get this uh, the payload here that I provided in the example. So with the metric and the namespace actually set and just the value not uh, being there. Uh, I thought that uh, it might be more better <laughs> to uh, provide a 404 response instead to make it explicit that the metric is not available. Uh, I outlined already the, the piece of code that's relevant for this issue here. Uh, the only thing which we should also add to this ticket is to uh, make sure that Keda also can handle this uh, empty 404 response in order to not break any Keda integrations. Um, but yeah, that's it for this issue. Sorry, I was still muted. Any questions from the community? Okay, looks like a uh, nope. So please enter your votes. Andre, you just joined. So I will share again the link on the chat if you miss it. Yes, Captain. Um, it's the board owner. Then, duck, duck. And let's try to fix it as up. <laughs> and we can show. Very small. Uh, lots of background noise from somebody yeah i, okay. I think it was from thomas um some extra small from me thomas the rest is say saying small any strong opinion for why this is a small and not an one-liner um mainly because uh due to also trying it out with keda so depending on if you have 
already tried that out or, or not, this might bump up the complexity a little bit, but the fix itself is quite trivial. Strong opinion for an extra small, Thomas, or small would be fine. Yeah, I'm also fine. Okie dokie. Then next ticket, which I think this is stemming from one of Sudipto work, because the other day when uh, it was working on the Datadog implementation, he found out a very good problem, which is that we here, <clears throat> um, other providers such as Prometheus and Dynatrix can work without a uh, to and from. They do an auto resolution of the stem frame, but Datadog instead requires this from and to. So he had to R code this uh, time frame. In this case, it's one minute, but we should make it more configurable. I also know that Thomas work on another ticket to support range vectors here. So I tried to bridge the gap without implementing everything from this suggestion, but just a small bit with this ticket. So here we should introduce in the captain metric a new field in the spec called range. And inside this have interval. And the default might be five minutes. This is an optional parameter. So if it's missing, the default is five minutes. This mimics what Thomas proposed here. I just, uh, from time range, I just call it range to be a bit more general. Um, but what will happen to the data there? Because the if we specify, if you, if you specify a time range, we, we need to do something with the time series we get back. Yes, like in the Denatrix uh, provider, we automatically provide an average of all this data. Okay. And a more fine grain, uh, what to do with that, like you propose here with Mark, compute all the standard indicators, mm -hmm. statistic indicators, is a follow up for this ticket, I would say, for the GSOC okay. project. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, this way, at least we can provide from how long in the past you can query the data. One thing uh, is though to validate uh, this spec via validation webhook and make sure that the value inside here can be parsed by the time parse duration. This is also what Prometheus uses for their query language. And that's it. So implementing this new spec change and create a validation for book. And also implement it for all the providers. I would do that in a, oh, sorry, I forgot to. It's the last point in the ticket is that. I think. Yeah. Well, let's split that off, maybe. Uh, acceptance criteria, yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I agree. That should be a follow-up. So this ticket introduced something which is used nowhere for another ticket. Yeah. I will create the follow-up. I have a question. Um, is the, the range field, op field optional and then everything yes. below or the interval? At the moment, I would suggest everything so we can be backward compatible. Okay. But then when we work on this, this thing might change. I think this should be optional in any case. Okay. So. The rest of the group, do you still have questions or you can provide an estimation? Uh, hi, I, I, I had one question. Yes. Yeah, for, for, for the data dog implementation, I had put like one day. The duration is one day. So should I change it to five minutes? As you said, that the default should be five minutes. 
or not? Maybe yes. Okay. So okay. it's easier in the future. Thank you. Okay, we're only missing Moritz. Oh. Uh -huh. Sure. Flo, Anna, Y, and S. Validation workbook is already there. And uh, this is adding one field, an example at least of validation workbook is there. Mm. Yeah. What about testing? Yeah. The campers, I don't know. Uh, make sure that we can migrate ex old versions to this new version with this optional parameter. Um, the testing should be introduced in the next PR, I would say. When we do something with it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, fair point, yeah. We remove the part of changing the providers makes yeah. sense. But backwards compatibility should be there out of the box because we have optional fields here with defaults, so we don't need to do anything. <laughs> exactly. We do not need to even bump the alpha version. Yeah. No, but yeah. maybe we should add something in our test to check the conversion from v1 to v2 and check that this field is now correctly we can add the default set. values yeah that should solve it yeah exactly but we need to just add one extra assert in our existing test so it's not much but something to be considered maybe let's head here So we don't forget. I would be fine to decrease my estimation to an S since the testing part is not there anymore. What about the rest of the group? I see a thumbs up from Andre. A nodding oh, and another thumbs up. So we call it an S. Nice. I almost forgot to get rid of this. Okay. Um, we could have another automation for that, actually. If we set it in the project to refine it, the automation should remove the label. That would be great. Yep. Let me take notes. Okay, uh, for this one, the we provide an out of the box uh, airbag to allow HPA to make use of captain metrics so they can read them <clears throat> and they can be used for scaling up and down your workloads. And it would be cool to have a cattle test to verify that HPA can correctly read our captain metrics. And the test should be very simple, straightforward. Install potato head entry, create a captain metric using the Prometheus as a backend, and just check the CPU cores. So this is a stable one or two, or don't I forget the number of cores that are available in any runner. Apply an HPA definition that looks for that specific captain metric and see that the replica count is more than one. So HPA kicked in. Is everything clear? Any question for this? Okie dokie, so everyone already voted. Strong opinion for an M. Versus an S, Thomas? Not really, but I think this can be 
can this can get cumbersome. Where is the complexity that you are thinking? Mm, the whole installation waiting and so on part of of Keda and whatever. There is no Keda. There's HPA. So uh, it's there it, with the sorry, I I thought about Keda. Okay. For for the HPA, this is okay. Nice. Okie dokie. So last ticket. Anna, some months ago, you created this ticket with very <laughs> descriptive, <laughs> descriptive <laughs> text. Can you please provide a bit of more information about? Yeah, this is me getting rid of a to-do. Um, basically, most of what we have for the certificate manager operator is uh, plagiarized legally from another operator uh, repo. This is the Dynatrace operator. And this specific part has no unit test, nor we have any kind of end-to-end -end test for the certificate manager on its own. We only test it by means of having the integration test. So it would be good to have at least unit test. Uh, so the current implementation lacks the test. We should refactor the code to make it easier to test it and. Bye. Do it and oops. In a in a nutshell, this is the goal. Unit and then to end tests. Okay, I forgot as always to delete the estimation. Does the other operator already have those tests? The other operators have component tests or end to end tests, yeah. Can we be maybe more specific? What scenarios do we want to test? Because kind of refactor and cover by test, that's a <laughs> topic that you can handle in one day and in one month as well. Let's say verify that the certificate when expires is uh, updated and verify that in case of missing certificates, one is created, at least yeah. these two scenarios. And I think the unit tests are specifically for this file here, right? Because while the from unit what I've seen, the rest is uh, pretty well covered actually oh, already. Okay. I will add the link afterwards so we don't block anyone here. Uh, How hard would it be to test the certificate expiry? So the I, I imagine that that could be hard with, I don't know, custom expiry dates or changing time somehow. With a component test and a fake Kubernetes cluster should not be mm. too hard, but still I should think about it. Mm, is it configurable, the timeout of the expiration? If that's configurable. As far as I remember, yes. We will just set it to five seconds. And So uh, what behavior should test for? I couldn't follow you through. Creation and update. Ooh. A bit of. Okay, now I'm ready to provide an estimation. Uh, 
Okay, you can put everyone. above our average. <laughs> Nice idea. Let's see what the team thinks about. Thomas already wants a coffee. <laughs> Moritz, strong opinion for an S versus an M. No, I was between the two anyways. So I'll go with an M and let's focus after we release of our next version. Okie dokie. And last thing, get rid of this label so it doesn't appear again here. Nice. So any further topics that you would like to discuss? Also from the community? Okay, so I think we can close this meeting a lot earlier than usual. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and see you next time. Most likely tomorrow at the community meeting. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, folks. Bye.